Hi everybody, this is Kefran, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in League of Legends in 2024, the new patch, the 14.1. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we will go inside of the launcher and we're going to finish with the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes two percent, ten percent boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the launcher, we're gonna go to setting, nothing new if you compare with last year. So the first one is in general. If you're struggling with your launcher, you don't have a good computer. I really recommend to go with the low spec mode over there. It will help you a lot when you're using the game client. Also, I recommend to disable the eSport notification. Those one can take more resources from your computer. And the last one is for the game. You have an option called Preferred DirectX 9 Legacy Mode. You can run, you can still run uh, DirectX 9 if when you play the game, but honestly, it's for very old computer. Like you're having a computer uh, it's eight, nine, 10 years old, I recommend to go with DirectX 9. But if you don't have a, like a really good GPU, example, a 1050 Ti, don't use that mode. Uh, just run the game as you're supposed to be. And we're going to change some graphic parameter inside of the game to optimize your FPS. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, make sure that you're playing the uh, native resolution from your monitor. So don't lower your resolution. You will see that the game looks very blurry. Also, super important, use full screen when you're playing the game. Don't use borderless or window. It can cause stuttering. After that, you have a couple of parameters that you can change over there. So first of all, may maybe start it at performance and we're go just going to change it over there. So we're going to put it like this. So qual uh, character quality, honestly, you can run easily medium. I just saw like 1% difference uh, in, in those different brackets. After that, I and very high, I saw 2% difference in your FPS. So medium is a good setting to run. For the quality, uh, environment quality, I recommend to go with low. Not a huge difference between very low and low, honestly, and it's a little bit better for your visual. Um, for effect, I really recommend to go with very low. You don't want any drop in your FPS when you're playing the game, when you're doing spells and stuff like that. So this one is very important. And the last one is the shadow. If you compare very high to off, you can expect a nice 12% boost in your FPS. So definitely shadow should be at off. This is like pretty much like very basic setting. Uh, it really depends on your rig, honestly. So if you're not struggling to, to run league, you have to understand character quality is not a huge deal. It's like I said, uh, you can definitely improve your environment quality at medium and effect. I'm not a huge fan of it. Honestly, it's causing some drops. So really need to look at this. After that, uh, for the amount of FPS, you can definitely play on cap if you want. Me, I like to cap my FPS with the amount of Earths of my monitor. I don't want to generate more heat also in my computer. So if you're playing on a laptop or something like that, sometimes it's good to lock your frame rate with the amount of FPS. I'm not a huge fan of anti-aliasing in this game. Looks a little bit blurry. And also you can gain 4% in your uh, FPS. So I uncheck it. And the last one is the vertical scene. You don't want to add any input lag in your game. So when you're doing spells and stuff like that. So that's why I just uncheck this one. One uh, other parameter that it's really important to uncheck is the enable uh, screen shake. This one is 
cause too much noise when you're playing the game so definitely you can uncheck this one so this is pretty much it guys for my league of legend 2024 parameter if you have any question just come in, in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace